We're going to be tearing this wall out, cutting it off across the back here, about at around 38 inches to. Ugh, I hate it when I can't talk. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be cutting out half of this wall here. Originally there was some cabinets down here and some upper cabinets. The customer wants to take them out, make it just a half wall, open it up back into this other room, make the uh, living room area feel a little better, a little bigger. Give you a couple shots of what it looks like now so you can see what it looks like when we're done. <laughs> Alright guys, a little update for you here. We got our wall cut out. We got really lucky on the ceiling and they had put a 2x6 over top of the 2x4 wall for backer. And that way none of the insulation fell out. I was kind of worried that a bunch of it was going to fall out after we got our wall cut out. But it worked out in our favor that time. So, <laughs> Next thing on the agenda is to get our backer put in. Fill this wall in so we can sheetrock that. Brace up this half wall best we can with 2x4s. And then sheetrock it. And we're going to get our trim wood back on. So. Let's get back to it, here we go. Guys, we are on the home stretch. All we have left is to put our uh, top board on here and some trim boards underneath of it. We're going to be using poplar wood for this. It's a nice, clear, primable, paintable wood. Looks good after it's all done. So we're going to get our uh, board, find out exactly how wide we want this, and then rip it down. Miter our ends for our trim pieces. We're going to be out of here. Let's finish up here. wrap for this shop. Let me give you some shots of what the final product looks like. Here we go. Well, what do you think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I think it really helped open up this room. Have a good one.